All right, everybody, welcome back. Uh, so now we're starting on episodes five through uh, five through six. On Tetris here, and I believe when we or no, I guess not. I thought there was a cutscene or something that you watch. Uh, maybe, maybe I had that wrong. Um, yeah, about uh, you know, about four episodes is all I could do in a night, and after that it got to be got to be a little bit much, just because it does require a lot of focus to play. I mean, to an extent, I don't know. And after a while, I was just yeah, I need you know need to take a break. Um, I was playing Zodiac Age just now, Final Fantasy XII, and uh, I beat the game and then realized that I couldn't do New Game Minus right away. I didn't, I didn't do my research, and I have to, um, I have to clear the game's trial mode first. Um, so that'll be interesting, and I actually have to grind up in my regular save file before I can really think about attempting trial mode. Um, and uh, that's gonna take a while. So you guys may not see that for a while. But I do have a couple other games lined up that I'm going to uh, start picking up on and uh, see how that goes. Shit! God damn it. Uh, let's see, what are we doing here? Yeah, let's do this. I don't know, like, I don't know how popular this game was. Like, I know it I know it got a lot of love for its soundtrack, and people thought the gameplay was, you know, solid. You know, nothing, like, crazy, but, you know, it was good for what it was. But, uh, I don't know. I don't have a sense of how popular people, how popular it was considered to be. I don't really know if it got its due love, but, I mean, even in terms of gameplay, I think this game is really good for what it is. I mean, I don't play a lot of puzzle games, uh, admittedly, so. Not really the best judge of that, I suppose. Yeah, I've been kind of struggling lately to try and figure out, like, what direction I want to take this channel in. Um, just because, you know, like I was saying the other day, like, you know, it's not like speedrun 100% completionist content. Um, and I don't think I'm that funny unless I have a guest on here, which is really hard to do ever since I moved to Pittsburgh. Um, which is really sad, because if I had decided to do this a few years earlier, uh, you know, I could have had Darren or Gensu or anybody here. Uh, would have had quite a bit of witty, witty banter. As, as you guys may know, if you watch my Illusion of Gaia play Dread, you know, Darren, my buddy Darren came up and paid me a visit, and those... Oh, shit. Damn. I got sloppy. No big deal. You basically just start over from the, from the beginning of the level, and you do all your work over again. So, sorry about that. Um, yeah, those, those episodes of Holy Legion of Guys still make me laugh my tits off. You know, I'm not that funny about myself, but you know, like, I don't know. Playing video games has always just been a therapeutic, relaxing, uh, just, you know, way to unwind. Um, That's not to say I don't put, like, effort into them, because I love doing playthroughs, like the no-gill playthroughs, and I love the, uh, the, you know, Final Fantasy, and I like the, you know, I like playing on hard mode when I can, getting achievements, and, you know, pacifists, and things like that, and Deus Ex, and whatnot. That Platinum, uh, playthrough of Deus Ex was, was pretty gnarly. Um, I do enjoy stuff like that, and then, of course, in Final Fantasy XIV, you know, I like raiding. I, I consider myself like semi-hardcore. I just, I just, 
having a static right now is kind of out of the question, unfortunately. Um, otherwise, I could probably play at a much higher level. But in terms of like these let's plays that I do, I don't know. Like I just, I just want to have fun with it. And uh, you know, hopefully, people that are watching can relate to that. Um, these are games that I really enjoyed as a kid, and I wasn't competitive as a kid at all. Uh, you know, I wasn't really a competitive person. Um, I definitely have a competitive side to me, but I don't know. I don't really feel like bringing that into games that I, you know, play as a child by myself. Does that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense at all. Shit. Yeah, see, the levels are getting harder. This isn't even a particularly hard level. I gotta, I gotta start focusing. Yes, thank god. Adam's gonna be a fucking lifesaver. Sure, why not? Shit. Come on, little buddy. We'll have you out of there in a jiffy. Just sit tight. Shit! Damn it! Yeah, when you clear episode 5, um, you actually beat the first half of the game. But there's five more episodes after that, so that'll be interesting.
Uh, that sound that you keep hearing, that kind of... I don't really know how to describe it, that... Like, yeah, like right there, like the... Kind of like countdown that starts. It's always a really scary sound, because it's like, okay... Time's running out. Better make a decision. Combo right there. If you're wondering why I'm not just drilling down into the hole I've already made here, it's because, like, you know, if you get... The more you focus on one spot, the harder it is to make combos there, because you're working within several different layers, um, as opposed to a flat surface. So, it can sometimes be a little iffy uh, getting combos in places like that. So sometimes it's a good idea to kind of work the areas that you haven't touched as much just so you have somewhere to go if you run out of pieces to combo with from the hole that you've been digging. Oh, if I pop that I get an atom. Uh, God, fuck. Shit! God damn it! Fuck! Damn it! You didn't even save my life! Um, alright. I, I tried to get fancy there and see if I could clear the level before um, having to get that piece so that maybe I could have an atom on the next level. Dude, come on, bust yourself out of there. These red pieces, oh man, they suck.
Please, finally, maybe. Oh, thank God. Well, at least I get to start this next level with a with a missile. Yeah, let's go ahead and drop this sucker. Make a good solid dent. I think. Ish. Seriously? Okay, yeah, these T pieces are actually, you know, they're almost actually as annoying as the squares. I mean, it's easier to combo with them, but yeah, they're they're really hard to move. They're really annoying to move. Adam, bitch. God, enough with the fucking T pieces. They fucking suck. I don't want them. I don't like them. Alright. So that Adam right off the start will make this level much easier, I think. Every time I say Adam, it sounds like I'm saying like Adam, like 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 the dude's name, like a dude's name. <laughs> Feels weird. Atom. Atomic. Whatever. Uh -huh. Thank you. 
Okay, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I wonder if I can save that now. Oh man, that was close. Damn. Fuck. It's like the level gets mad at you after a while, and it's like, oh yeah? Well, fuck you. Yeah! God, enough with the fucking tea pieces, man. They're the worst. I like, after the past few levels, I almost hate them as much as squares.
Ah, oh, no, what did I fucking do that for? That was dumb. Yeah, this looks like a good place to fucking drop a piece that shouldn't be there. Yeah, I'll just drop it right here and just die horribly. I think you're you're actually playing as one of the robots, like you can't see yourself. It's like a first person thing, but you're actually one of the robots and you're dropping these pieces on the sphere to try and get your buddy out. That wasn't so bad. I'm making a horrible time though. Oh yeah, that's my favorite song. Oh god, this level's gonna suck. This level's gonna suck. Squares and T pieces. So yeah, wish me luck. I'm not starting out with an atom, which means this is going to take quite a while. Sometimes I don't know how much work, how much it's worth it to move pieces around like that. And I guess it really depends on if you're connecting like two groups that are otherwise separated. Oh god, that was terrifying. Oh my god, an atom. Fuck yeah. Let's do it.
Uh, oh shit. Oh shit, okay. That was a little scary. bad. Uh, maybe I'm just getting lucky with the RNG. I'm not sure how much of these spheres is, like I'm not sure if the arrangement of the pieces is the same every time. And maybe it just, I don't know, maybe it just orients you on a different spot on the sphere every time. I don't know, I haven't really noticed how different it is from attempt to attempt. God, with the fucking tea pieces, killing me. start. Nice job! Okay, this should be slightly tamer. Finally no more of those fucking teas, am I right? Because they're teases. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
shit. I thought I was moving a piece so I didn't have anything. Oops. You guys didn't see that. I can get an atom. Fuck! Oh, dude, what the hell? There we go. Bam! God damn it, I got this. Come on, little buddy, bust out of there. I can see you. I can see you in your little googly eyes. You want to get out. I know you can. There you go. Oh, God. All right. I to sit up straight for this shit. Oh, this level's not so bad. I think this level will be a nice little break. Hopefully. Hopefully I don't eat my words. I think they designed the power-ups in such a way so that the atom really would be the most powerful. And like, but there's other stuff after that that's honestly I don't think as good um, to keep you from just getting an atom and then just holding it till the next stage. It's like a diminishing returns type thing. Uh, 
Okay, there's that, and then... Oh god. Scary. Just go ahead and do it. <laughs> Dude, come on! Oh god, this is brutal. Just get out of there. Alright, surely, yeah. God damn. Alright, so it's getting to the point where it's gonna take me an hour to do a full episode. Um, oh god, this level looks... This level is awful. Have faith though, for I am a I have a uh, black belt and PhD in uh, Tetris. Well, not really Tetris, but Tetrisphere. Uh, I guess I'm okay. <laughs> I, I think I can do it. I think I got this. Wouldn't be so bad if these colors didn't make me fucking sick. Just all these fucking primary colors and just yeah. Looks like some high school football colors.
I remember hearing somewhere, and I don't know because I never played sports in high school. I never played sports in anything. <laughs> I'm not good at sport ball. Um, but I heard somewhere that, like, you know, uh, basically, like, high school sports are a scam because they get, or not, not high school sports, but college sports because, like, um, the school makes money off that, but, like, none of it goes back towards the, uh, players, even though they're actually, you know, like, it's not, like, an academic thing, they're not a student of anything, like, they, like, they know how to play football, and they're playing football, and they're not getting paid for it, or something like that, I don't, I don't remember. Somebody once told me that they thought college sports were very corrupt. I don't remember who it was. I was a kid in gym class that just was just like find any way to just kind of like not uh, like just avoid as much responsibility as humanly possible uh, within the context of the game. Oh, dude, yeah, brutal. Let's do it. Oh, dude, fuck yeah. Get the fuck out of here, stupid... Stupid level. Dumb level, dummy. Level that I do not like. do that for I thought I could make a shape there and I didn't realize that I had a wild card piece queued up I don't think you can make shapes like that fancy laying some fat beats down over my new shapes that's exactly what this game is doing right now listen, listen, listen to them fucking amen breaks Actually, that's, those aren't really amen breaks, but close enough. Oh, man. I'm getting sloppy because I'm yapping too much. That's the other thing. It's just like, I don't know. It's hard to be good at games when you're talking. But then again, like, if I didn't talk and I just focused on the gameplay, like, I know I still wouldn't be as good as, like... Or not as good, but I just... I wouldn't... I don't have nearly... I'm not one to judge, because God knows I put my time into some really stupid shit. I mean, look at this shit. Look at what I'm doing. And then, like, raiding in Final Fantasy. Like, I'm not one to judge anybody by how they want to spend their time. But with all the things I already uh, have that I spend my time on, I do not have the time laying around to spare to master a game to the point where I can both speed run it and 100% it in the same playthrough or something crazy like that. Something that something that people would watch and be like, wow. And that, you know, we get views just based on the merit of that. So that's why I'm choosing to kind of do it this way. I'm just, I'm playing games that I like so that I can share them with people. Yeah. 
and you know why I like them. I don't know. I I think that I have pretty decently eclectic tastes. Like I mean I don't know. A lot of I feel like a lot of YouTubers, like a lot of Let's Players that I've watched, like tend to only play one kind of game. Um. And they tend to play like a lot of very safe titles that like either aren't old or aren't, you know, or are like really popular, like the hot new game, like people playing like, what is it, like Destiny 2 that just came out? Like, I don't know. When there's so much hype behind something, it's like, oh God, like, you know. To me, what hype entail, what hype means is that they spent a lot of money on an ad campaign uh, or advertise, advertising campaign, you know, and I'm just like, man, if your game's good, people will know it. I don't know. And uh, that's that's basically how you how you uh, in my opinion that's how people get that's how games get you know massive popular culture followings from people that just you know that are in the position to see ad campaigns like people that like actually watch cable TV and shit like that and uh, I don't know. I'm on the I'm I'm dangerously teetering on the edge of saying something very judgmental, so I'll stop. I'll quit while I'm ahead, but I don't know. I just I don't know. Those games with like so much hype, like I don't know. I look at them and I'm like, what exactly is this offering? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I have shitty taste. But I do feel like I'm gonna die! Fuck! <laughs> God damn. Oh man. Oh, and I was so close. Try again. Let's, uh, you guys have heard all the songs at this point, so I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start picking my favorites. Don't worry, I won't pick that one every time. I'm sure some people don't like it.
call that when something's like really hyped and like you don't want to. I don't know. I feel like I feel like everybody that's watching this right now, like the two people that are watching this, are probably like uh, a hipster. That's what it makes. That's what it's called. I don't know, man. Like, I disagree. I can't really put my finger on why. You know, a lot of them, like, just off the bat, just don't look like games that really appeal to me. They don't really seem like they have a particularly unique premise. I don't know. It's sounding more hipster by the second, aren't right? A lot of times I'll just go on the PSN and I'll just look for games that look cool. And, uh... It's almost never what you'd expect. Shit. I think I just get an atom. If I can get an atom, like we'll be we'll be set. We'll be on the gravy train. Dude, what, seriously? Thank you. Yes! Just fuck off all of you. Now I'm wondering if I'm going to be able to finish this game. Because it, it really does only get harder from here.
Oh, dude, are you kidding? Fuck! Damn it! Okay, alright. Finally done with the first half of the game. So Oh okay, ain't cute. It's adorable. Oh, whoops. I do not get what we're witnessing right now at all. That's okay though. H2O Entertainment? Canada? Okay, yeah, uh, so now the credits run. Uh, I'll go ahead and just let this play out. Uh, when it's over, I'll cut the episode, and then we'll come back for episode 6. Or, it'll be episode 4 of this Let's Play, but it'll be episode 6 of the, the, the game. Whatever. You know what I mean. Neil Voss, he's a badass. 
music kicks ass. I'll see you guys later.